What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jaitera. I'm here back again for another episode. Right now it's 5 a.m. I am currently up and getting ready to go to a casting call that I got two days ago. It's for the show Tommy. My call time's at 6.45 and it's super early, but I'm ready for anything and I'm embracing the challenges that life has given me. Really interesting how the circumstances I got this job. Two days ago, my friend calls me and he's like, hey man, I'm not really doing anything you want to come into the city and hang out so I said sure we met up with one of our other friends for coffee then after coffee walked across the street to Whole Foods so I went browsing looking around and my friend comes up to me and he's like hey you see that blonde lady over there I think she's famous I just don't know who it is and me I for those of you who don't know I have bad eyesight and I told him I was like I don't know, I, I can't see, I have to go up closer. So like a creep, I went up closer and I looked like I was buying some something or checking it out and I looked to the right of me and I'm, I'm in disbelief. Right next to me, the person, the famous person is Cameron Diaz. Yeah, Cam Cameron Diaz is in Whole Foods. She's standing right next to me and she's talking to somebody and me being brave and trying to take opportunities life has given me, I tap her on the shoulder, she's like, Yes, with a big smile on her face. And I'm like, this is gonna be a very weird question, but are you Cameron Diaz? With a big smile, she's like, yes, yes I am. And I'm like, wow, you're an amazing actress. You know, you've done so much and I aspire to be someone great like you. Do you have any great advice for me? And she took the time out of her day and was like, you know, it's an industry, you have to really be selling yourself and you have to really be staying true to yourself. She also said that it's important for you to constantly work hard and look for uh, new opportunities and as an industry that thrives off of blood, sweat, and tears. So you told me to keep trying and not get discouraged and keep going after it. So I was like, awesome, thank you so much. It was really incredible meeting you. I go back to my friend, I'm like, dude, that's Cameron Diaz, can you believe it? And he told me, well, why don't you ask her what agency you should go to? I was like, dude, you're so smart. I should have done that. I tried looking for her again. She was on the line already and I tried to, you know, be on the next line next to her so it doesn't look weird so I could uh, ask her again one more time. So I tried, but she was already too far ahead. So I'm like, oh, I need a quick plan. My friend tells me, once you run to the exit, then you'll be able to uh, catch her on her way out. I'm like, it's a little stalkerish, but I'll take it. So I ran all the way out to the exit for the Whole Foods didn't buy anything and I'm standing outside waiting for her and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I don't see her then my friend ends up coming out and I'm like where is she like did she walk past me did I not know and my friend is like oh here she is, she's coming out right now. And I go and confront her again. And I ask her, hey, I'm so sorry for bothering you again, but I have one more question. Do you have any good agencies for me to sign to? And she said, you know, I haven't done this in a while and um, agencies are constantly changing. Different agencies bring different actors, different roles and different things. And uh, the agencies you'll be a part of changes based on your career. And and to always remember with whatever agent that I'm signed to, to make sure that they are invested in you, they treat you as the product, they treat you as the boss, they don't treat you like a slave and they constantly are worrying about you and not putting you in a bad way. She just kept saying things of that sort. And at the end of it, I was like, well, when I make it big, I'm gonna go on an interview and I'm gonna say Cameron Diaz gave me all this amazing advice and she said to me, I'll be listening, Josh. How cool is that? How cool is that? Cameron Diaz said to me, she's gonna be listening for me talking to her. That is incredible. That is an example of the universe throwing you good things. And that very same day, I got a message for this role today in Tommy. It was incredible because I got to meet a superstar on the same day that I got a job. And I know some of you are not believing me because <laughs> these are unusual circumstances. I don't have any picture proof, but believe me, I, I'm not just making this up. This has really happened to me. Just like in my first video when we were talking about the egg lady giving me the hairs on my way to signing up for that acting company. So it's really 
really incredible that I got this opportunity and I got to meet her and I got an opportunity. I checked the times, um, the call times and where to go last night and the shooting location is at my old college of John Jay School of Criminal Justice. It's, uh, <laughs> I was like, I was like in such shock when I heard that and when I read it because I haven't been there in so long and I never thought I'd really be going back and here I am going back as me as who I wanted to be, you know, because I feel like when we're all a little bit younger and we're in college, we're all figuring ourselves out and to go back, not going as a student, but going as an actor, it's it's really crazy. So this, uh, this multitude of events just kind of combined in the past uh, two days and honestly, I feel blessed and I feel amazing. I just want to share my experiences with you guys and uh, I'm going to get started with my day. So stay tuned. So here I am. I made it to John. Jay. I'm back in my old college, but for a different venture, and it's pretty crazy to be back here right now. I really don't know what to feel. I used to come here three, four times a week, and to really be here and see this is uh, really insane. I'm just walking through memory lane right now, literally, trying to see everything for what it is. I'm really excited for the day. It's going to be cool to maybe run into some people that I know, really just do something new. So, thankful for the opportunity. Just got back from a long day. Just clocked a little under 12 hours on the studio today. Had a lot of fun. It really was incredible. I got to portray a restaurant patron and uh, I also got to portray a nurse. I got to do two different roles today. I feel really good about it. I didn't have any speaking roles but it's all good. It's part of the process. It's part of getting better. It's part of getting there. Awesome news. I'm on season one episode seven of Tommy. You'll probably see me in the background in one of the scenes. I hope you do at least. Also, got to meet that main actress herself, I.D. Falco, the main character in Tommy. And you may also remember her as Tony Soprano's wife. So, pretty big deal. It's just been a good day and I'm very thankful for the opportunity and I am expecting and manifesting more and more and I can't wait for you guys to be a part of my journey. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another episode and another adventure. Bye.